friend of mine said to me the other day, Father Jim, how come when the angel Gabriel appeared to Zechariah in the temple announcing the birth of John, when Zechariah asks, how can I know this will happen? He's reprimanded and punished with nine, nine months of not being able to speak. Yet, when Gabriel appears to Mary, and she asks, how can this be? She's not punished. The difference in their responses may not be immediately obvious, but if you pay close attention to what they say, note that Zechariah doubts, and Mary does not. In the original Greek, it's clearer. Mary is simply asking for more information. But Zechariah, he prayed so long for a son and gotten so old, he thought it impossible. Maybe he'd been hurt and he'd been mocked and kicked around because he didn't have a son. And even the apparition of an archangel didn't seem to break him out of his, de out of his dejection. Whereas young Mary, full of grace, asked her question in deep trust. So the angel Gabriel revealed more. The Holy Spirit will come, upon, come <coughs> upon you. The child will be holy, the Son of God. Yet, while Zechariah was far from perfect, still he was a good man, and God did his will through him. And Zechariah's trust grew. His trust grew. His silence gave him the space to ponder what God was doing in their lives, as is, uh, his, his wife is Elizabeth and did indeed conce conceive. Though, how could they really understand what the Lord was doing? Until after six months, his wife's young cousin Mary came to help. Zechariah was a priest, so he knew the prophecies, so he understood. Mary carried the long-awaited the long-awaited long Messiah in her womb, and her, his son was to be his precursor. Imagine those three beautiful months that Mary remained with Zechariah and Elizabeth. Mary, she's the new temple, the new Ark of the Covenant. God was with them. Salvation was coming. However, they all knew that the Lord was calling them on a very challenging mission. This has been a hard year for all of us. We feel like we've been kicked around a lot, often scared, wondering some at times perhaps, where is God during these COVID times? Yet in Advent, we too have been called to ponder, like Mary, like Zechariah, to look more deeply and see on a wider horizon. The babe that Mary bears is our hope, is the light that the world needs now. The Savior, God, is with us. He invites us to share his mission now. We do not, know, we do not yet know what 2021 will bring. Yet, we know he will lead and guide if we trust in him. He would lead and guide the whole world if the world would trust in him. Do not be afraid. Today we hear how Elizabeth and Zechariah name their son. They insist his name is John which means God is gracious. With Mary, Zechariah, Elizabeth, and John say yes to the gracious God and to his mission. With Mary, this Christmas, we too say yes to Jesus.